this video demo is to demonstrate how to create a psychiatric progress note in less than two minutes. First we're going to go to the chart and then here you can see a summary on the left hand side of what's going on with this patient and then you can see a collection of the notes here in the center. To generate the note we're going to click on the progress note prescriber. We're going to start here with number one or minimal or partial response. Whatever option I select will generate a sentence here into the text. This yellow text field is a free text field, so if you do want to add any additional information, you can. And then you can move on to the symptoms. Here on the symptom options, you're going to click on the C list next to the appropriate one and then it'll take you to that symptom C list shrub and we call it a shrub because whenever you click on an item in the first column it branches out into the second and possibly into the third generating text here into the note for you this is to keep typing to a minimal so that you can get the information that you need without losing the quality content but in half the time or less Here we'll click the back button and please note that everything in this text field is saving automatically every keystroke. Here we'll document the behavior and the side effects. We're not going to do any psychotherapy but we'll move on to the mental status exam. Here I'm just going to click through it very quickly as it is a button driven program. And then we'll move on to part two. Here we'll go to the ePrescribe. This will give us a list of the medications that our patient is on. We're just going to renew the Zoloft and send that to the pharmacy. Then we'll click the back button and the medications will automatically update here on the progress note. Then we'll move on to the instructions and you can use custom buttons to document your specific instructions, especially if they're common ones you use across the board for your various patients, such as continue medication. And maybe you talked about the risk and benefits of treatment. There you go. Your diagnosis will pull forward from note to note and you do have the option of choosing from ICD-10 or DSM-5 and then you can use our auto code feature here in the coding section. Here I have enough documentation here supporting 99214. Here we'll say we'll follow up in three to four weeks or earlier if needed and then we'll save as a progress note. to. This will aggregate all that data into one comprehensive note for you where you have your information right here. It's all legible and it flows in a narrative format. At this point you want to make sure that you spell check it and you can sign it electronically. And that's how you create a psychiatric progress note in iConotes. Thank you.